Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne and today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy little painting of three daisies which you can either use to put on a card as a topper or you can put into a frame and make a tiny little painting. It's quite small, it's only six by eight centimetres and you won't need many materials to do it either. So what I do is I cut my piece of card first and then I get my beautifully arranged flower painting plates and that's all you're going to need really for that you're going to need some yellow with some uh, uh, some sort of brown and some Genji looking green okay if I run out there I do have a few more colors over here then we're going to need some brushes and really I have the cheapest brushes going here because you'll need a straight thin brush and a long thick one, a thin one, and you also need a brush for putting on the yellow in the centre, so something like that will do. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special, so we've got three brushes, nothing special, and a little bit of paint really that's left on the bottom of our palettes. On my plate I have some cadmium yellow ready mixed and I have a little bit of brown over there which I'm going to use just to go around the uh, edges. I've put my yellow where I want it to, to be just to give myself a good idea. Don't put them too close together otherwise the petals will overlap and it won't work. So what I'm going to do is just a small oval like that. And another one going there. So you're Little overly blobs should be going in different directions, right? Right now, next, I'm going to take a little bit of the brown, and while this is still wet, I'm going to just drop in a tiny bit of that brown. Not, don't forget that this will dry lighter than it looks here, okay? And then I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so on my palette I have a sort of watery mixture of a little bit of blue, a little bit of green and a little bit of Davies Grey. And then I'm going to start doing the petals and the petals are quite easy. Put the brush down, you push out and you hook around. And so the colour that we're actually using isn't white at all. Okay, and there's the first one. And if you think you haven't got quite enough paint on your brush, then just go back in. And then we'll do the third one. Doesn't matter which order you do them in. Just try not to uh, do the petals so big that they overlap. And I think we'll stick with four petals for that one. Right, okay, so we've done those. Now we need to come in for our very thin little brush. And again, going back to my mixture of greens on here, this looks like looks like it could be a little bit of sap green with a bit of viridian mixed in with it. Now if that's not, it's looking a bit wet to me so I'll go across to my palette here and I'll have some olive green from there instead. Okay so now what we're going to do is going to take a thin little line from there and go down, and go down, and then this one we're going to come through. Okay. Right, now, now we need a little bit more going on down here at the bottom. I mean, you can see it's watercolour, they're never going to be identical. But what we'll do is we'll do some leaves 
some grasses, sorry, not the leaves. And if you want to, you can even do a little bit more going up there like that. Squidgies. Now this one you can leave as is, or if you want it to look a bit more like that one, then what you do is this. Technical stuff this. Wet the bottom. And then you take some of this and you just add it to the bottom. And then with a dryish brush, just bring some of it up. And if you think that there's not enough, it's not quite green enough at the bottom, basically just go in and take some off while it's wet. Okay, so while it's wet, you can add more cream to give it a bit more depth. And don't forget, if you dab watercolour on, it should just spread. Okay. Right, now, how do I get this to look more like that one? What I do is I take my little teeny wing brush and I'm going to add a very small amount of paint to it and then all I'm going to do is go around the very, very outside edge. You'll see already, you can see a, a big difference in the dimension. Always grey. Don't try and do white on white because all you'll end up with then is a blank piece of paper. There we are. That's how quick and easy it is. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and there'll be another one along before long. From Yvonne, signing out.